right, Victorum Gaming fans, we are back, and Victory at Sea fans as well. Thanks for checking in. So we're starting, uh, or actually, well, we're continuing our coverage here of Victory at Sea, and we're going to basically start sort of a series here on the aircraft just because it's a fairly big section of the game, and really it's... Uh, would just be too much to squeeze it all into one like really long video for you guys. So I think we're probably going to break this up into like a trilogy for you. So the first one, which will uh, be this video, uh, we're just going to cover some of the basic ideas and terms and stuff from the aircraft. Then we'll take a look at carriers, uh, dogfighting, combat air patrols or caps and all that other stuff uh, in the subsequent videos. So... Um, we start off with a little bit of uh, background on the aircraft uh, and just how those developed. And uh, here, as it says, uh, in some scenarios, your entire fleet can comprise nothing but aircraft. So that'll actually be some interesting battles there. And battle, battles of this nature certainly took place in the Second World War with Toronto and Pearl Harbor being some examples. And uh, so the way Victory at Sea defines this is that we have several different types. Uh, and they're basically organized in what we call flights. So a flight is represented by a model of up to four aircraft on a flight flying stand. And um, when we get a second here, we'll show you what one of those looks like. Uh, we don't have a physical one yet. Uh, they didn't put any in the demo kit, but um, uh, there are some pictures here in the actual rule book. So we'll show you, show you that in just a minute. But many type of aircraft appear in the Second World War, but the following types are used in Victory at Sea. So we have fighters, and obviously those are going to be your air defense guys. So Dedicated to gaining air superiority by annihilating an enemy's air force, fighters are tasked with the defense of the fleet. Then we have bombers, so uh, various uh, uh, subtypes within that, basically. But um, So different attack aircraft, and so uh, generally think like dive bombers here, uh, which is our next sort of subcategory. But um, bombers, uh, just in, in general terms, uh, you know, uh, dropping more like conventional like high altitude kind of bombs whereas the dive bombers here specifically then um those are the ones that would you know literally dive down and um get in a little bit closer to drop their ordnance but first exploited by the luftwaffe but quickly finding favor across the world dive bombers use speed and altitude to gain phenomenal accuracy as well as imparting enough kinetic energy in their bombs to pierce armored decks so and then we have kamikazes, so uh, obviously um, for the Japanese fleet. Uh, so these are suicide aircraft, which are flown into their enemies to cause great damage, and we'll cover those separately as well. Then we have torpedo bombers, uh, which uh, pretty much all sides are going to be using a lot of. So perfected by submersibles, it was inevitable that torpedoes would also be mounted on aircraft. However, the technology of the Second War had trouble catching up to the task, and air launch torpedo attacks were notoriously hard to perform. But nonetheless, uh, still possible, and you should still be uh, wary of those if, uh, if your opponent is coming in on those. Then uh, we also have what's called uh, an observation flight. So either seaplanes or long-range land-based aircraft, observation flights operate on their own but provide a vital service to the fleets. These aircraft are used for scouting in scenarios that allow it, and we'll cover that uh, in another uh, separate video as well. Uh, and for guiding beyond the horizon attacks. Uh, and we, as we mentioned in a previous video, so uh, things like carriers, for example, can be actually left off the board to give themselves some more protection. And so to be able to really deal with them uh, somewhat effectively, you have to be able to, um, right? You have to use beyond the horizon attacks, and observation flights will help you there. So, uh, and these operate differently to combat aircraft. Um, and again, we will cover these uh, a little bit more in detail as we work our way through the aircraft section for you guys. Um, so because of the way they work, no model is required for the flight. So they essentially um, just exist, um, although you can field them to add more atmosphere to your games should you wish. But again, we'll cover that in more detail. And then moving on. So they give us sort of a snapshot here of uh, sort of a fighter profile. So this is uh, the earlier version of the uh, Vought Corsair. So it'll tell you the commissioned, if, whether it's carrier capable or not, what role it is. So in this case, obviously, it's a fighter. It's speed. Um, so obviously, these things will actually move a pretty good distance on the board. Um, Dogfight, uh, which we'll cover in a second. Damage dice, any traits. In this case, they're tough. Um, and which we saw uh, in our video on traits, actually. Uh, go check that out. But basically, it's going to be harder to shoot these things down. And then they're 25 points for the, the base of, uh, or that flight, I should say, of planes. So flight, uh, the name of the aircraft in the flight. 
uh, commissioned, so the year uh, when it came into service, and again, uh, different things will go off of uh, the year that it was commissioned. So, you know, again, you can have uh, very easily like early war, mid war, um, and late war uh, battles, uh, and uh, you know, ships and planes and everything. Technology will change, and more things will be available. So, but you can really create some really thematic battles that way. Carrier, so quite obviously, whether it can be launched or recovered from carriers. Uh, the roll, so it's a fighter in this case, uh, flank speed, same as for ships, but flights are obviously much faster and far more maneuverable. Dogfight, so this is how effective it is against other aircraft, so and as we saw here, plus three, which uh, uh, from what we've seen so far is a pretty solid number. Damage dice, this is a measure of how much damage the aircraft can do against ships and other surface targets. So uh, since these Corsairs really just had, you know, like 50 cals, uh, I do believe, um, so they're not really going to do anything to um, uh, ships, basically. Traits, uh, so any special rules there, and then the point value. So as with ships, this represents the flight's relative power. Uh, additionally, carriers have the maximum number of flights they may carry, and the points values of these flights are included in the point value of the carrier. Players are free to choose whether or whichever aircraft they wish, so long as the number of flights doesn't exceed the carrier's maximum, and only flights that are listed as being carrier-capable are chosen. So that basically will indicate, I think, that um, you know you can divvy up the various flights and the carriers, so you can have you know however many flights of fighters, bombers, dive bombers, etc., torpedo bombers, um, as long as you're not exceeding your carrier's um, maximum allotment of that. So that'll be pretty nice, um, and assuming the point values don't um, change uh, significantly between those types of planes, um, that should allow for some neat customization there. Uh, depending on what uh, what your opponent's bringing. And then aircraft uh, may also be included without a carrier in the fleet. These aircraft are assumed to have taken off from land bases or carriers much farther from the battle. However, you may only have a maximum of a quarter of your fleet's total points value represented by flights that are not based on one of your carriers. And that's pretty cool just to keep people from uh, maybe overly spamming uh, planes and stuff like that. Um, you know, a fleet might not have... Uh, you know, really good a uh, anti-air defense. So it would be a little annoying if that were like a, a way to basically, again, spam them and then just kind of like roll over um, certain fleets just because they uh, are lacking a little bit in AA and, you know, you you or your opponent decided to bring just a whole bunch of flights. But uh, again, as it said a little bit earlier, we, some scenarios might even be nothing but flights, uh, which would be pretty cool. Um, so again, this game offers a lot of different uh, options for play. And again, between the, the time periods and everything else, there's just so much going on, which is really cool. Um, so and that is basically everything for our quick overview. So this is just some general ideas in terms of the uh, airplanes and... Um, as I said, we will probably be breaking this into about, a, I think, a trilogy or so should cover everything for aircraft, but we'll be covering flights, uh, or sorry, uh, um, uh, carriers, uh, the way though, the way you launch and recover your flights, um, dogfighting, uh, other terms like combat air patrols, the observation craft and how they're used, and just uh, that whole uh, aspect of the game. So, um, and then as we said, uh, we will uh, show you guys a uh, quick picture here of what one of the flights looks like. So we'll be right back to show you guys that. All right, we're back, guys, and this is just to wrap up the video here. But so this is what uh, a base of planes will look like. So and it looks like we have a little bit of a like a dial uh, in here too. It looks like there's a certainly a top half and a bottom half. So that will probably represent like how much damage the uh, flight has accumulated. But as you can see, basically it's organized as a sort of a flight of four here so four planes per base um and then really nice obviously it'll be very easy to identify what's what so you know it'll have a zero here for obviously this is a flight of zeros and yeah so they'll be pretty cool and looks like they'll be uh fairly sturdy too it doesn't look like these should be you know like top heavy and have a chance of constantly falling down on the table or anything like that so that's actually pretty good uh design wise so but we'll, we'll we'll reach the final verdict on that when we actually get some of those in our hands so um but yeah that wraps everything up for the just an overview of flights so if you guys could hit us with a like and a subscribe if you haven't already and then stay tuned for more content for victory at sea